Oh hey there my fellow Tarhans, I'm Captain Beans and welcome to part 2 of the War Criminal which is my third campaign in High Fleet where the only way I can kill anything is by using a nuclear missile. And so I'm located currently in Hush with little to no fuel because I tried searching for that hidden city which I didn't find any and so yeah I'm going to have to land in Masada again and get refueled there and that actually might not be such a bad thing because the second strike group that's closest to us is actually quite far north and I know where they were and I know which trajectory they're probably gonna go at so they're probably gonna go from here to here somewhere like this like like from there to here so I can definitely predict what that strike group is gonna do and so I'm just gonna refuel over here just enough so that I can reach Masada and that's because at Masada the fuel is cheap and I'm trying to save money, if I can. Well then, let's go to Masada. Okay, now. Apart from trying to kill that second strike group, I would also like to find Omar Khan and try to persuade him to come with me on this quite ludicrous mission and so if you've seen my video about my dumbest high fleet build you'll know that I can I can use this this design right here the jelly to attack a garrison in Uruk without killing the Tarhan that's there and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna try to do that once I get enough fuel of course just so that it's enough okay let's send the jelly and the fast tanker into Uruk I think Omar Khan is located there, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Alright, let's go, bitches. Follow me. Uh oh. I might need to evade that really quickly. Okay, they've taken off, so I'm gonna have to leave now. There you go. And now I'm just gonna have to circle around them until they report. And then just try to run them into oh shit I'm gonna have to turn around okay so now you uh, yeah I'm gonna have to get the garrison far enough away from the town so that I don't damage it Okay, I think I can safely now shoot a nuke at this guy. So, 
Let's do it like this, maybe. Okay, here we go. And it should be safe now. For a moment at least. And here we are. Here's the Tarhan, which who hopefully should be Omar Khan. And yeah, that's him. So let's go with Faith. Because he likes it. Now uh none of the options are good. None of the options are good. Damn. What? None of the options are good. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess he is a proud Romani, I guess. There you go. Okay, I'm hoping to get more. Mm, this one? Okay, nothing happened. This one. Ah, okay, I guess... I guess that's fine. I mean, here's the thing. He is giving a free ship, which I can sell for money. Which is this Gepard. I'm just gonna sell him because I don't need it. So sell the ship. And I just got some money. And if I need, I can just ask Omar Khan, and he can give another ship that I can sell. So, yeah, very nice. And look, I've already made some profit, so that's very nice. Okay, now that I've made some profit, let's now aim at Zairam and this is going to be the next fuel station because fuel stations in this series are going to be very valuable and so yeah I'm going to take advantage of these guys as much as possible I think I can just leave hidden cities behind it, I don't need them The first war crime. <laughs> Funniest thing is that the first war crime that I've committed in this series is on part two, which is strange. But I don't know. And there you go. Captured Zairam. Now, where is the closest intel station? That is Resht. But there is a risk that the strike group, Yenisei, could be located somewhere here. So, I actually have no idea. It might be best to do some recon. Let's just search the closest cities, just to make sure that the strike groups are not there.
Okay, I know for sure there isn't a strike group in Yezid, which is nice, that's good news. And I'm certain that there isn't a strike group in Bet Haram. Yeah, because otherwise I would have detected their radar signatures. So let's plan a thing. I would like to take Resht, the intel station, because it is closer than Hash. But at the same time, I kind of would like to just go back into Hash with one of my ships and just use the intel for free without spending another nuclear missile. Actually, let's do that. Let's not capture any new intel stations, maybe. Let's just, let's just land the main fleet somewhere here. Let's, let's send this guy there. This guy is not going to take long. Okay. It is just as I have suspected. The strike group is heading into the direction of south towards Hash. Alright, let's return the this guy into the main fleet. And I also found out that there is a missile carrying group in Zemaraim. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. So There are a few things I can do. I could flank these guys and go somewhere maybe like this and then like this and then just shoot a bunch of nukes at them and then capture a Zemaraim and maybe Dorut if Yenisei stays there which I which actually by the looks of it they're actually leaving, and they're going into south. Hmm. Maybe I'll do the flanking a little bit later. I'm gonna wait for that strike group to get into my Elint radius. And once I detect it, I'm gonna do recon to find where it is exactly. And then I'm just gonna kill that strike group. I think that way it's also possible. So I should move maybe somewhere a little bit closer. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Apparently that strike group decided to take a leak at Resht, so... Okay, that's, that's fine by me, so I'm just gonna send a... Uh, a little surprise for them. It might take more than just one nuke to kill that strike group.
Okay, and just to make sure everyone in the Resht is absolutely dead, let's just send a regular KH-15. And that's it. Yenisei is officially dead, as is the entire town of Resht. Good start. And now to eliminate that outlaw, let's send something that they like to send, but they're not gonna send because they're gonna be dead. Okay, I think this is gonna be it for part two, because I've already defeated the second strike group, and so part three is going to be defeating Teriak, which is the third strike group. And so, my fellow Tarhans, I hope you enjoyed this series, and thank you for watching.